Hey guys, Michael Shamblum here with a quick Lightroom tutorial. I am going to show you very quickly how to kind of boost the colors in your Milky Way and make your galaxy images pop, um, you know, using only Lightroom 5, not Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my image. This one right here, uh, it was taken in the Anza Borrego. Uh, there's like an Ocotillo tree in the foreground. We've got a really nice Milky Way in the background. I believe the settings for this is um, 20 seconds f2.8 ISO 3200. I'm using a 20 millimeter lens and the white balance is set to tungsten. This is on the Canon 6D. So first thing I'm gonna do is go in and add a little bit of contrast in the sliders. I'm in the develop module by the way. I'm going to add some contrast, and I'm just going to bring down the blacks, bring up the whites. This is just going to give us more and more contrast. Now, already we're seeing the Milky Way pop in the tones, but what we really want to see is this really nice these nice hues these nice colors we want to see those come through and the main way of doing that is adjusting your white balance and kind of adding some saturation and color so right now you know we've got a temperature of 3200 it's way too blue for the milky way that we've got you know we're not seeing any of those colors because they're you know magenta and blue so i'm going to tone this back and you know if I bring it too far now everything's red so the key to this is moving the slider really slowly and figuring out exactly what works for your image and you know this is all going to depend on the white balance you shot it and kind of where you are what you know what the atmosphere is like in the area that you shot so this right here looks pretty good We've got some reds in the sky. I'm not really a fan of that, but we can go back and I'll show you how to colorize the sky slightly so you get those blues back while still retaining some of these nice colors in your Milky Way. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go through and uh, just add a little bit more contrast. Bring in some more of the whites make the Milky Way really pop. Now I'm noticing I've got some vignetting, so I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of that really quickly. And I'm also going to add a little bit of noise reduction just so our image isn't so grainy. And uh, there we go. We've already made the Milky Way pop significantly from our original image. This is our original image and in only a few steps we've really taken that Milky Way and, and brought in some of the colors. Next thing I'm going to show you is kind of selective coloring using the brush tool. Grab the brush tool. Let's set it to color and Give it maybe, you know, try and mimic the colors that you've already got in the image. You don't want to, you know, take a random image like, or a random color like, you know, red or something. Uh, try and get like a subtle blue that you already see in the image. And go in with like a nice big brush and just, you know, brush some of that color in where your sky is all red. Now we can go again with another brush tool on the same color, brush it in one more time just to make it pop a little bit more. And I can go in and tweak this edit, you know, I can, I can change the color to whatever I want. I can go kind of subtle with it, but using those brush, 
the brush strokes, we've gotten rid of that that hue in the sky. And obviously this takes some tweaking, you know, I did it really rough. You'd want to go through and, you know, I still see some patchy areas. You want to make sure the sky is even and try and, you know, get it to look natural. And, you know, even now looking at it, I'm noticing it's a little heavy. I'd probably go back and, and you know, take these gradients down slightly. So now what we're going to do is use that same brush tool, but instead of using color, we're going to use some clarity and contrast. And we're just going to brush in where the Milky Way is, and then go through and bring in some clarity, maybe a little bit of contrast, bring the exposure up slightly. And uh, that has really made our Milky Way pop and stand out. Now the last thing I'm going to show you guys for you know basic Milky Way editing in Lightroom is using maybe a little bit of color and saturation. So you know I really like these oranges and browns. I want to make them pop a little bit more. So I'm going to go in and just brush where they are in the image. And I'm going to use the saturation slider and bring that up slightly. And then I'm going to go in and use the temperature and make it a little bit more orange. And you want to be super subtle with this or else it can look really unnatural really fast. And then you can even edit this little middle area, you know, if you accidentally got this middle area to be a little bit, a little bit orange. The key is being pretty accurate with this stuff, because if you brush in the wrong area, you're going to create some unwanted, unnatural colors. I'm going to take this and make it a little bit more blue. See, I even went a little bit too far with that. It's all it's all about moderation and tweaking. Going back on your edits and figuring out what really looks good and what looks natural. So here's the image we've made. Uh, we've you know made the Milky Way really pop, cleaned up a few areas. Here's our original, very dull, very blue. Um, yeah, so I hope this helps. If you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, if you have any other ideas for tutorials, leave them in the comments as well. And to see more, visit shamebloomphoto.com. Thanks, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time.